All right, buddy, let's get started. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, left. You're gonna wanna stay tuned for this workout, folks. Core strength today, scientifically engineered to satisfy all your fitness needs. Let's get those knees a little bit higher. Up and up and up. We got mobility, we got core, we got stretching, we got balance, we got strength. What else do you need? <laughs> Fun, positive attitude, and pizza. Oh, I'm just kidding, no pizza. All right, coming to cross the body right here. Cross the body, can, can, cross the body, can, can. Breathe. Now look, that knee wants to come up and across, up and across, up and across. My mom likes to add the arms for some reason. I don't know. If you, if you can't coordinate with the arms, see, look, messed her up. <laughs> All right, now we're going to come up to the knee. You're come out to the side. Up and out, up and out. So your knee comes up, your hip rotates open. All right, today's public service announcement brought to you by everything you sh know you should be doing but aren't doing. Think about that. What do you know that you should be doing that you're not? You're like, give me an example. All right, after this. So leg's going to come out straight, swing it out straight, reach for the toe. Reach for the toe. Reach for the toe. Opposite hand, right? So right leg left. Good. Here's an example of something you know you should be doing but aren't doing. Drinking enough water. Mmm. Oh. My mom was just talking about that. You could be like me and drink bone broth. What's up, hydration? Not everyone's down. Okay, you're gonna stop. Now your leg is gonna go out to the side. So we're gonna start with the right leg. Out, a little side raise, a little side raise. Make sure you're not leaning too far forward. Make sure your breathing is just relaxed. These are the warm up, folks. If you're already tired, you probably need to do more cardio. We got you on those cardio videos. Good, keeping the leg straight, raise it up. All right, and side to side step, here we go. To the left, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right, and, and left, right, left. All right, keep going. Breathing. Anytime we're metering like that, you just breathe natural, okay? Breathing natural, breathing natural. All right, and Relax, okay, upper body right here. So I call this one the invisible rope. So the rope's in front of you here. You're pulling your arm back. So you're reaching out with your hand, grabbing, pulling back. Reaching out, grabbing. I want you opening your hand and closing your hand. Open your hand, closing your hand, pulling your elbow all the way behind you. And you'll notice when I do it, I get a little rotation in my ribs. So you got these things called hands. I know, watch out, I'm gonna get advanced here. And they have nerves in them, huh? Also, you got these things called joints in your hands. I know. <laughs> Thing is, when you don't use them, you lose them. So they get tight. And a lot of us don't use our hands too much. Yeah, so you gotta open and close, open and close, open and close, open and close. There you go. All right, now you gotta reach up a little bit higher, right? So about eye level, reaching up, opening those hands, closing those hands, opening those hands. Now I don't mean using them like mama's saying, clicking, grabbing stuff. I'm saying opening them full extension, closing them, squeezing them together, all these cool things. I was joking with my buddy yesterday, I was like, I think, I, I think we could do like a hundred hand exercises. You just squeeze the ball. Yeah, and squeeze the ball is good. All right, we're going straight up, vertical rope, pulling up, pulling up, pulling up, straight up all the way, open and close those hands, open and close those hands. Breathe, breathing. We're having fun yet? Smiles. Turn that frown upside down. All right, and arms out like a T. Shoulder circles. Circle, 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 circle. Small circles. This is a good chance to see, are my knees bent? Is my back relaxed? Are my hips slightly underneath my shoulders? And switch directions. Circle, 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 circle. proprioceptive neuromuscular facilitation right here, okay, PNF. So you're gonna start with your hands facing forward, elbows bent, you look like a cactus, two 90 degree angles, I call it cactus. Then you go from cactus, you're gonna turn your hands down for what I call scarecrow, so cactus, scarecrow, cactus, scarecrow, right? Ooh, fun. 
Now, if you want a little challenge, what you do is you close your hands on Scarecrow, open your hands for Cactus. Close and open. Close and open. Close. And then you close one eye. Nice. Then you chew down the left side of your mouth. And then you breathe through your nose. <laughs> How many things can you do at once? And your shoulders should be tired. Relax. All right, so the neck, we're going to mobilize it. Just move slowly. Don't force anything in the neck, okay? So we're going to start going to our right, okay? So you're going to look to the right, turn your neck as far as you can comfortably. Don't crank on it. Hold. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, other side. Turning, 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 turning to the left. What's up, neck? Okay, breathe in. Exhale, coming back to center slowly. Now we're going to look up, all the way up. Could be the ceiling, could be the sky. And breathe in, exhale, and you're going to look straight down. Hello, feet. Okay, we're going to come back up. Now we're going to do shoulder circles to the right. Okay, so shoulder circles to the right, ear to shoulder. Up nice and slow. Good. One more big circle. One more big circle. Slow, 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 slow. Good. And relax, switching directions. Nice and slow. Good. Ooh. All right, let's do the back. So we're gonna do hunchback and Notre Dame, slouchy posture, as I call the troll posture. Really troll it out, push those shoulders forward around the back. Okay, then opposite, we're gonna go proud chest. You wanna flare your ribs, squeeze your shoulder blades together as much as you can. Flare those ribs. Ah, okay, hunch back and Notre Dame here. Troll posture. And let's go proud chest. Open up. Ah, very nice. And recover. All right, so let's, let's do our hips, okay? So take your hips, you're gonna push them, bend your knees. Push your hips forward, hold. You're gonna have to lean back a little bit. My mom's gonna stay facing forward. I'm gonna turn to the side here. Okay, now you're gonna push your hips back, slightly leaning forward, like a little ski jumper. Okay, coming up. Now you're gonna push your hips to the right. Really stick that butt out. You're gonna lean to the side as you do and switch. Good. All right, now we're gonna go stir the pot. So big circles, forward, right? Around, back. You hear some clicking and popping, that's totally normal. And switch the directions. Do, 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 do. Sometimes I wrap my own theme music, mid-workout. All right, time for the belly dance, okay? So here, one side's gonna go up, other side goes up. Up and up, and then you can do the gyrations. Gyrate. We should do a special belly dance edition. And switch. There you go, my mom's got it, nice. All right, now you're gonna put your feet together, a little Tai Chi, bend your knees, hands on your knees, and you're gonna go circles, okay? Now, though it looks like your knees are going in a circle, it's really your ankles and your hips that are moving. And switch in the directions. Switchies, 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 stop. All right, here we go. Heel rock, so rock on the heels, up on the balls of the feet, rock on the heels, up on the balls of the feet. Don't go so slow, you have to, exactly, lose your balance. <laughs> Just go nice and slow, nice and slow. Okay, and three, two, and recover. All right, though it's early, we're gonna stop here for water. I want you to roll your mat up later. All right, I want you to roll your mat up because we're gonna do some stuff on our knees, okay? So go ahead, pause for water, roll and I'll be back. Timer on. All right, welcome back. So my mom immediately got into the crawl position. I'm gonna have her not get into the crawl position. So go ahead, bring your hands up. So I only rolled up half the mat here so you can have the rest of the mat to put your hands on, okay? So this is called prayer. 
You don't have to put your hands together, right? Non-denominational core strength workout. You're gonna pull your shoulder blades together. You're gonna to align, tuck your hips underneath you. This position allows you to understand how you can tuck your hips, right? Underneath your head and shoulders without getting the feet involved. All right, from this position, without using your hands, I want you to try to step forward with your right leg. So you want me to do my left leg? Yeah. Nice. Okay, now from here, you're gonna hold, you're gonna tuck. The knee that's down, your arm's gonna come up, reach up. This is kneeling lunge stretch. Nice, breathe, so inhale. Exhale, both hands come up. Ooh, both hands up, 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 up. Okay, we're gonna breathe in again, inhale. And we're gonna exhale, dive into the pool for baby runner's lunge and hold it. Nice. So here, make sure your neck's relaxed, dropping into your hips. Good. The inside arm, so the arm that's closest to your knee, you're gonna twist up towards the ceiling. Inhale, exhale up and twist. This is twisting runners, relax your neck. Yes, I like to do like little small circles with the neck. Good. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, hand comes down. Go ahead, posture up. Nice and tall, hands come up. Okay, now without using your hands, go ahead, switch legs. Switching legs. If you have to use your hands, that's okay. It's a fun game not to though. All right, don't rush because, see, look, she rushed because she knew the exact one. So you're gonna, the hand, the knee that's down, the hand's coming up, so come up, good, hold. Don't rush, sound like a band teacher. Okay, breathe in, exhale, both hands come up. Okay, breathe in again, exhale, dive into the pool, hands down inside the feet, very nice. If you're doing the workouts in order, today is Monday. It's always nice to open up on Monday, get everything aligned, because your actual, your posture will carry over throughout the week. Inside arm, right? Inhale, exhale, open and twist. Twisty twist, relax your neck. Monday sets up Tuesday, sets up Wednesday, sets up Thursday. But if you're not going in order, that's okay. As long as you're working out, folks. All right, inhale, exhale, hand goes down. Bring both knees down, right? Now my mom's gonna go into child's pose. You're gonna push your hips back to your heels. Child's pose. So Wednesday, we do a lot of deep stretching. We hold the pose a little bit longer. Today, core strength, I wanna to try to keep us moving. So what we're gonna do from here, every core strength class ever, mom's gonna come into crawl. So you want your, so for crawl, your hands are underneath your shoulders, your stomach's in flat. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, right leg goes out behind you. Nope, right leg goes out behind you. Oh, Left arm goes out in front of you, over your head. Make sure it's opposites, okay? We got the right arm, left leg. Did I say right arm, left leg? My mom did. She might have done the opposite. Stomach in, relax your neck. Okay, relax. Switching sides with a lot of grace. I want to resemble a ballet dancer. Let's go ballet. Good, straight back and then opposite arm. So your foot, your toe in the back, you want it facing straight down. And you want to make sure that hip, the foot that's up, that hip's not twisting towards the ceiling. Mom's doing a good job right here. We've done many a bird dog. Okay, and relax. All right, so from here is you're gonna roll onto your back. Go ahead, lay the mat out all the way here. Boom, 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 boom. All right, as soon as you're on your back, you're gonna pull both legs into your chest for what's called cradle. Shout out to Dorsha, she loves to stretch. She requested every time we start on the back, we do cradle. And now because of her, we do. All right, let's go glute stretch, figure four. So ankle to knee, we're not gonna go through all the simple stretches today. Ankle to knee. So you wanna cross your ankle to your knee. There you go, push that knee away from you, figure four. There you go, someone didn't read the book. Well, it doesn't exist yet, but actually you have the book. Come on, you should know the names. That's not what I think is figure four. And switch legs. She says, she doesn't think that's figure four. That's, uh, I don't, I, I, I grab it. Who 
knows, folks? This actually comes from jujitsu. It's a choke hold, triangle choke. In case you ever need to choke somebody out, you never know. All right, both legs out straight. This is straight leg grab. So one leg's gonna go up straight, grab behind the knee. Now grab behind the knee. You don't, you don't wanna crunch up like that. And then pull your toe back, pull your toe back. See, the problem is folks, if you crunch up and you grab that calf, really you're training your upper back to round. We want that upper back long and straight and you wanna pull the knee back, but use your hands. If you don't use your hands, then you won't get maximum stretch. Okay, breathe in. Exhale, oh, floating and switching sides. I just wanted to do that. Let's do this. All right, folks, we cruising along right here. Breathe in, holding, stretch, stretchy, stretchy, stretch. And recover. All right, let's test your knowledge on the core power series. You ready? Let's do this. Bend your knees, feet flat. You're gonna tuck your tailbone into the mat. Tuck your tailbone in. You're gonna suck your stomach in. You're gonna squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. Squeeze, rock hard abs, and recover. One more time with me, ready? And tuck. Suck. Squeeze. And release. If you feel like you're holding your breath for the squeeze, totally okay. All right, so you're gonna do all those things. Tuck, suck, squeeze. And then you're gonna start the marches, okay? So you're gonna lift your right leg up, your left leg up, keeping your knees bent, moving slowly. We do everything for time, so you don't have to worry about reps. You just focus on your core muscles, stomach in. If at some point someone came in and gave you an elbow drop, elbow drop on your stomach, you would, they would break their elbow. Rock hard abs. All right, from here, stop. Knees and feet up for what's called table. Mom knows the series. You're gonna touch one heel to the ground, keeping your knee bent for what's called downhill march. Back up. There you go. If you go to my YouTube channel, you can find this Core Power Foundations playlist and has everything on there. Touch. It's a progressive core series designed to activate all the muscles in your core properly, keywords properly. Okay, stop. Up next, stay, keep those feet up, unicycle. So one leg is gonna go out, away from your head, all the way out. If you can touch the ground, touch the ground, and then you're gonna come back keeping the knee bent, other leg comes out. Do not go fast, okay? The effort isn't going slow. Reaching out, touch. Keep your neck relaxed. If you're wondering how long we do these, ends up being about 30 seconds each one. Good, good. In three, two, one, relax. Okay, feet flat, you're gonna bridge up, hips up, bridge. All right, while you're in bridge, here's what I want you to do. Close your eyes, breathe in, exhale. Now you gotta mentally tell yourself, I am strong. I am strong. Not I'm getting stronger, not I will get strong, not I might get strong, that you are strong, okay? All right, hips down, hands underneath the neck, now I'm on practicing this one a lot, okay? It's called the crunch. So hands underneath the neck, elbows towards the ceiling, send your elbows towards the ceiling, breathe in, exhale, crunch up, and hold. Two, three, back down. You probably have to hold your breath on the crunch, like I said, totally normal. Breathe in, exhale, crunch up, crunch, and hold. Two, three, back down, good. Okay, breathing in. Exhale, crunch up, and hold. Two, three, back down. One more today, we're doing four, we're getting crazy. Breathe in, exhale, crunch up. Reason is I'm gonna skip side crunches. All right, and relax. Okay, these next moves are from the Core Ignite series, which is the next level of core power. So knees and feet are up. This is called the double leg heel tap. So keep your knees bent. You're gonna reach down, tap the floor with both heels coming back up. Keep your knees bent, don't rock, go. Now make sure you're tapping the ground slightly away from your butt, reaching out. You don't wanna go straight down, that don't do nothing. Uh-oh, sorry grammar teachers. <laughs> don't do anything. You don't do anything. And three, two, hold those feet up. Kick both legs up straight, 
Mom, hold, go the feet up. There you go. Kick both legs up straight. Hold. Mom, kick both legs up straight. Hold it. Kick both legs up, up straight. Hold it. Lock the knees out. There you go. Toes back. Straight leg hold. Let's go. That was her screaming. See, this is what happens when you don't stretch your hamstrings over the weekend, folks. They get tight. And then straight leg hold gets a lot harder. Hold it. Let's go. Let's do this. One more. One more. Let's go. One more breath. Inhale. Exhale, bending these feet flat. Ah, oh, party. All right, hips in the air. Toes in the air, so your heels are down. And you're gonna walk your feet away from your head for extended bridge. Now, what I cue in extended bridge is you wanna feel like you're hooking your heels into the mat, and the back of your legs should be rock hard muscled, okay? So you can actually touch the back of your legs. I'm gonna go ahead and touch them. Touch the back of your legs. Those are the back. Yeah, you can. Oh, they're right here. Oh. Come on. Your thighs. Back. What's the difference between the thigh and a leg? Anyways, I digress. And hips down. Good. Beautiful. All right, folks. Up next, everyone's least favorite. Side planks. All right. If you don't know what side plank is, you're going to be on your side. You're going to be on your elbow, okay? Now use the edge of the mat. You want to line your knuckles and your knees, which are going to be bent with the edge of the mat. Okay. So your knees, right, are in a straight line. Now from here, you're going to breathe in. You're going to exhale. Your hips are going to come up. Now up until this point, I haven't introduced any advanced level exercises. That's because all of the things we've done, there are no advanced level exercises. But this one, the advanced level is your knees are going to come up. So legs are out straight, knees are up. Go ahead, adjust for that. So when I first started teaching core strength, everyone was dying at about 20 seconds of side planking. Now they're all up to 40, 45 seconds. Shout out to my Claremont crew. Core strength. All right, so right now we're at 35 seconds. If you started the whole time, let's keep working it. Let's keep working it. In five, four, three, two, and relax, good. All right, let's set it up, let's switch sides. If you did your knees down on one side, you can try your knees up on the other side. It doesn't have to necessarily be uniform, right? Just want you to try it, because one side might be stronger than the other. All right, here we go, ready? And go, timer's on. In my mind, I'm like, what would happen if I started singing a song to a theme show? Start singing a theme to a game show I wonder if that would get flagged or if that's copyright law. Someone look that up for me. Let's go. We're at 20 seconds, folks. I like to tell stories in side blank. Helps pass the time. Let's do this. You got it. Relax your neck. Let's go. Relax that neck. Relax that neck. You got it. 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 Five. Four. Three, two, and blast off. All right, one more exercise, and then we will pause and get water. Can you guess what it is? Planks. I'm just going to assume you said planks. All right, here we go. Down on both forearms. Now, you want your elbows apart. Thanks to Serena, the physical therapist, taught me that one. Elbows apart. You want your knees away from your elbows as far as they can go, right? Hips down. That's plank. And let's go. The more advanced level is the knees come up. But if you bring your knees up and you feel your lower back tighten, then the plank is done incorrectly. It's better to do with your knees down. See? Personally, I start all my planks with my knees down so I get a really nice engagement of my core, and then I lift the knees up. You got it, folks. Let's go planky, make plank, plank. If you're really feeling bold, you can lift one leg up in the air. Oh, nice. Here we go. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax. Okay, pause, get water. Go ahead and move the mat. Up next, we're going to be doing the standing exercises. I'll see you. And we're back, we are standing. Let's work our abs standing up, okay? So this one you do, bring your elbows forward, right? You're in an imaginary plank, okay? So bend your knees, Now I want you to tuck your hips and I want you to flex your core just like you're in plank, okay? 
You gotta use your mind, folks. Flex the core. Good, and relax. A lot of times people do when they flex their core is they lean back, so don't lean back. Okay, so elbows out, breathe in. Exhale, flex your abs as hard as you can. Standing core exercises. Let's go. Your core actually is designed to help you stand up and relax. Okay, let's bring our hands down like a normal. Normal arms, bend your knees a little bit, and then engage your core. Here we go, breathe in, exhale, and squeeze. Flex those abs as hard as you can. So the same one came up, <gasps> rock hard abs. Okay, and relax. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work a ski jumper position, but I want you to focus on your abs. So here's what you're gonna do. Feet shoulder width apart, slight bend in your knees. You're gonna fold at the waist, keeping your knees bent, looking straight down hands behind you just like you're about to do a ski jump. Now from here, what I want you to do is I want you to flex your abs as hard as you can. Ready? And flex. Go. Flex, flex, flex. My mom's posture looks really good right now. Nice work, mom. And recover. Don't stand up. Don't you dare stand up. Hold it. Ready? We're going to work those abs again. And go. Flex those abs. Go. Flex, flex, flex. And relax. Last one. Shouldn't have said relax. And flex, go. <sighs> flex, flex, flex. In ski jumper, in ski jumper. Good and recover. Ooh, fun. All right, we're also we're, we're gonna one more. We're gonna be in chair pose. So chair pose. Your feet are shoulder width apart. No, you still face the camera. Feet shoulder width apart. Here, you're gonna bend your knees straight forward. Now, if you have bad knees, don't go too low. Right? I'm in. I'm very comfortable right here. I'm in chair. Now. Some people like to put their arms over chair. Don't do that. Okay, we're here in chair. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna flex our abs. You ready? And flex, go. One, flex. Let's go flex. Okay, and recover. Don't get out of chair pose. Keep those legs bent. Ready? And flex, go. Abs, abs, abs. So at this point, I used to walk around the class, poke people in the stomach. That's pretty good, nice. Okay, recover. One more, one more, one more, one more. Here we go. Are your legs on fire? Your legs should be on fire. And go, flex. Flex. Do, 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 do. And relax. Oh. Nice. I promised you guys some coordination, okay? So this isn't coordination cardio. We're just gonna work something very basic here. Left foot forward for what's called 50-50. So that's one stride length. So take one stride length apart. I want you to flex your abs a little so you can hold it. Okay, now your right arm is gonna come out. You're gonna reach forward. Now you're gonna step back with your leg, bringing your arm at your side, and step. Now you're gonna repeat the same side, okay? So I said left, but I sorry, I didn't mirror, so you're right, my left, here we go. And step, and back, and step, and back, stop. Flex your abs the entire time, you ready? Flex, and step, and back, and flex your abs. If your abs aren't getting tired, you're doing it wrong. And step, and back, don't lean back, and step, and back, and step, and back, and step, and back. Three, your abs should be tired. Two, your abs should be tired. One, your abs should be tired. Okay, switching sides, you ready? So start, one stride length apart, arm comes out, engage the abs, and bringing both together, and step, together, and step together and flex your abs and flex your abs and flex your abs and how many times can I say that? Yes. It's like a little song. And flex your abs and out and in and three, two, and one. All right, so this is gonna help with fall prevention. What we're gonna do is the same exercise. We're gonna go into what's called split stance. So for split stance, if you don't know, what you're gonna do is it's two stride lengths. So 50-50 is one, split stance is two. My back heel should still stay down. Now when I push off, I wanna push off the toe of the front foot, push off and back. It'll happen natural. Don't make it all like ballet freaking Gracie, okay? All right, so let's start with your, which leg we're doing? We're gonna start with your right leg. So two steps, two steps this time. One, two, split stance. Opposite arm comes up, so that's your left arm. We're going to step back to neutral, step. Now you're gonna step forward, big step, split stance. Stepping back, big step, split stance. Stepping back and forward 
and back. Keep your back heel down. Forward. There you go. Back. Work that balance. Forward and back. Guess what you should be doing with your abs right now? Oh, you know it. Rock hard abs. It actually will help your balance, folks. Do, do, do. Use your abs. Let's go. Three, two, and one. Relax. Good. All right, let's set it up on the left leg. Here you go. Two steps forward. Pop, pop. Right arm out. Hold. Engage your abs. All right, step back. Step out. Step back. Step out. And back. Out. Bring your arm down. Back. Out. Back. Stepping out. Back. Stepping out. Back. Stepping out. Good. Keep your tempo. Engage your abs. Pop. Back. And boom. Nice work, everybody. Let's go. Three, two, and relax. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. All right, horse stance. So here's neutral stance. Step your feet open, wider than shoulder width, toes out, bend your knees, tuck your hips underneath, squeeze your glutes as hard as you can. I want you to squeeze your abs, okay? Now we're gonna do little pulses here, okay? I'm gonna work the legs, work the glutes. We're gonna pulse down and up. And remember this from dance party? Down and up. And down, and up, sorry. And down, and up. We're in horse, down, and up. Working those quads, down, and up, down, and up. Here we go, three, two, then we're gonna hold the down. One, then we're gonna hold the down, and hold. Hands on the thighs. Okay, grab your invisible horse right here. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I just, I, well, I was kind of kidding, but then we did it. Drop down a little lower. Embrace your abs. Good. Drop down a little lower. Squeeze your abs. Yeah. And oh, drop down a little lower. Oh, I can't. And pass out from the workout. <laughs> I'm just kidding. All right. Nice work. Look, we already worked our arms. We didn't really work the arms too much. Work the core. Work the legs. Work the balance. Ah, don't worry. Tomorrow's upper body strength training, so chill on the arms. What we're going to work next is we're going to do some balance, balance, balance. It always is probably, it's probably the third most requested thing. So we're going to start in neutral stance, okay? Today is more of a Tai Chi balance, okay? So for Tai Chi, we're really gonna get a nice bend in the knees. You're gonna shift your weight into the right leg. So you're emptying, sorry, I did it again. You're shifting your weight into the left leg. You're emptying the right leg. Now I want you to shift, squeeze that, squeeze that glute. Squeeze that glute, that's on the ground. That's your left glute. And then your right leg's gonna come up. And I want you to step forward, touch your heel gently. Okay, now you're gonna take that right foot, bring it back to the side, touch the ground. Forward and touch, back and touch. <laughs> Sounds like a Macintosh. Forward touch, back and touch, forward and touch. Now, if you have a nice handle on that, swing the leg without touching the ground, okay? So forward and back, advance, forward and back. And if you're feeling beast mode, you bend that leg that's on the ground a little more. A little more dropping in. Good. Three, two, and relax. Nice. My mom went into that's called the sweep. All right, so we're gonna go to the other side, other way. If you did left to right, doesn't matter. Here we go. So now go in order. Bend your knees. Shift over to the right or your left. Keep shifting that you're emptying the opposite leg. So I'm emptying my left leg. And now the leg's gonna float here. I'm gonna shift it forward, my heel touches. I'm gonna shift it back to the normal position, touch. Forward and touch, touch to the side. Forward and touch, and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. If you're more advanced now, go ahead, keep the leg up the whole time, keeping the leg up the whole time. If you really want that workout, bend that knee that's on the ground, or the foot that's on the ground. Swing and bend in three, two, and one. Good. All right, one more right here. Okay, one more right here. So everyone, let's do it together, okay? We're gonna shift our weight into our left foot, emptying the right foot, okay? I want you to bring your toes on top of each other. It's called toe pile. Toe pile, it's a modified single leg, 
Okay, bring your arms off for balance and hold. Engage your abs. Right, use your feet together. From a more advanced student, you're going to lift the foot straight up for sort of a weird coupe here. Hold, breathe, engage your abs. Hold, hold, hold. Now we're gonna karate kick, and then relax. Nice. All right, last balance one, then we're gonna do breathing exercise, okay? So, shift the weight over. Going to the right leg, right leg, right leg. My left leg sort of just pops up. Toe pile, copyright Evan Russo. Toe pile. Pile of toes, okay? If you're there right now with your balance, go ahead and lift up, straight up. Sort of a weird little ballet move. Hold, 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 hold. Karate kick, pow, and relax. Nice. All right, a little breathing, okay? So we start, this is, this is a traditional Qigong standing meditation position. So when, I breathe, when I'm breathing in, my hands are gonna come up the center and the back of my palms are gonna come together like this. So imagine like a fountain, right? You're gonna come up, let me scoot back so you can see my hands. You're gonna come up to eye level right here and then your hands are gonna push out and then you're gonna circle back and in, okay? Let's go through slow. You're coming up, palms together, right to your eyes, pushing out, back down, and together. Now we're gonna add the breathing. So it's in, exhale. So you'll notice this one, the exhale is longer than the inhale, right? So breathe in, inhale, high level, exhale. Good, now go with me. So in, 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 out, 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 out. good. And in, 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 out, 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 out. Good. Three more. And in, out. In, out. In, last one, and out. I want you to just end here in standing. Close your eyes. This is a standing meditation position. It's great to do a little meditation after you worked out because your body is worked, your mind sort of relaxed a little. Let your breathing relax. And I want you to try this. Try to just relax every muscle as much as possible while standing. Pay attention today, throughout the day, your body will get tight tension, stress, scary things. You'll have a physical response. Literally, you'll clench your muscles. Try to be aware of that. Try to get back to this state, super relaxed. Relax. Okay, one more big breath in together, inhale. Exhale. All right, if you made it to the end of the video, workout complete, give yourselves a round of applause. Nice job, nice job, nice job, nice job. Nice job. I want to thank my wonderful mother, nice job. Excellent work. Okay, folks, quick update. Bye, thank you. You'll be fit forever. This is real, this is happening. We are gonna continue this project from now, hopefully until forever. Essentially, I explained last week, my personal goal is to charter this as a nonprofit. Then we will start raising funds so we can get this material out to as many people as possible. There are 48 million Americans over the age of 60, pretty much all of which are trapped at home. And I went and I tried to find some really high quality exercise videos for people over the age of 60. Guess how many I found? I won't even say, but it's less than one, okay? So that's why this is happening, folks. I am doing this because I have the material, I have the ability, and I also have the time. So I really appreciate everyone who's been supporting me who's been giving that positive feedback, who's been sharing these videos. We're gonna keep this going. Don't stop, okay? Today was Monday, tomorrow is upper body strength training for Terrific Tuesday, okay? With that, I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever.